Good morning, Northside. I'm Kadesia Mitchell. And I'm Ola Busari. And you're watching NTV. Oh my god, I think I feel about coming here. On that note, here's Kiara and Ayendi with Northside Sports Center. Hello, I'm Miami Ramos. And my name is Kara Gonzalez. And this is Northside Sports Center. In today's episode, we're going to be talking to you about all the athletics that happened this school year, such as volleyball, basketball, and softball. This year's girls' volleyball team ended their season with a phenomenal winning record of 9 2. They had an amazing comeback against those teams who defeated them in regular season, which resulted in Northside's first ever volleyball championship. Let's check out the moments that led to the championship. My mama calls, see you on TV, sunset done change Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, fuck a hard to vacation Basketball season is over, but that just means that we're ready for the upcoming spring seasons for softball and baseball. Speaking of which, we have two Northside staff members ready to participate in our new segment called Honorary Athlete. Let's take a look. I know you can either make this easy or you can make this hard. Make your time, push all the way through, touch every line. You don't touch a line, we're doing it over. You don't make your time, we're doing it over. It doesn't count. Fantastic, Odie. You know, it, it, this is for, this is for the soul. This is for our soul. Physical education, working hard. It's for the inside. For the spirit. Peace, yo. For the fire inside. For sport. For passion. For killing it. For not giving up. And pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming to try out. You put forth the best effort, and that's all that we ever ask is that you guys give it your all. If you don't like what you did today, then you need to go home tonight and think about it and come back tomorrow going harder, being stronger, and putting forth your best foot. At the end of the day, you want to be a member of this team, so you got to be willing to give it your all. 
do what, you, what the next man won't do. Good luck to all the current athletes. Good luck. Hopefully your name is on that list and you'll be a part of the 2018 softball team. <laughs> offside on three. One, two, three. No time! Congratulations to our new athletes. Hope you make it far in the season and get the most out of your experience. That's all for today. My name is Kara Gonzalez. I'm Ayini Ramos. And this is Northside Sports Center. Well, hard work does really pay off. Yeah, kudos to the kids who are an athlete and are maintaining their grades at the same time. Here are the latest upcoming events from In The News. Hello, my name is Kenneth, and these are important things that you have to keep in mind from this point to the end of the year. March 29th is spring break, so make sure to get excited for that. We're going to skip April because not much is scheduled. On May 1st is the college deposit deadline for all seniors. On May 3rd and 4th, the musical You're a Good Man Charlie Brown will be performed. On May 2nd and 9th is Mark Regents. On May 10th is the National Honor Society induction. On May 24th, prom will happen for all seniors. On June 4th is finals. On June 8th is the last day of school. And June 22nd is graduation. But make sure to come back June 25th for report cards. My name is Kenneth and you've been informed. People shouldn't have guns because that they keep like killing too much people and it's bad because I don't think that they deserve to die. I think the gun epidemic is a terrible thing happening right now and is out of control and the government is taking politicizing it and creating sort of separate sides which is not a good strategy because in the end we all need to come together on it to find a way to solve it. I believe that the uh... What's going on today is usually kids that are disgruntled and want to take advantage of the situation. No guns. I believe that too many people have guns, that it's not necessary to have guns. Uh, everybody have guns just shooting up their neighborhood all over the place, so it should be illegal. It should not be. students to fear their teachers or teachers to fear the students. I don't like the idea of teachers with guns in schools. The security guards should be the ones that are paying attention and checking and monitoring what's coming in and out of the school, not the teachers. Teachers having guns is no different than a student having a gun. They should have never had guns before, they should never have guns now. Like, why would you give a teacher a gun? Like, there are teachers who make bad decisions every day. Teachers sleep with students. Teachers put their hands on students. I mean, like, no way should a teacher have a gun. In my opinion, I don't think teachers should be allowed to have guns in school. I think it's creating a less safer environment for the students and just the whole school in general. Um, I don't think that it's necessary because it's not making the situation better. You're just dealing with the whole situation with guns, which is the whole problem in the first place. I think teachers should be allowed to have guns in the classroom. I also think that there should be armed security guards at every school. I think it's outrageous. It shouldn't be. Teachers are not paid to carry. First of all, they shouldn't have guns. They're trained to teach. As far as teachers having guns, I think that's no good. Your question's kind of hard, and, and I'll tell you why, because I don't know that changing any laws will make it any less an epidemic as it is today. I don't think that that has to do with guns. I think that has to do with individuals and how do you control an individual? How do you change it to know that somebody mentally can actually have the responsibility of owning a gun? Changing a law, changing the age, changing restrictions on firearms that's obviously i think that's needed but i don't think that that's going to lessen somebody coming into a school and trying to hurt other people i also think that we should have metal detectors in every school and we should have one entrance to every school it's sad that this is the reality that we live in but it is and we need to adjust to it i will stop school shooting by raising the age to 21 to have a guns permit 
when it comes to purchasing a gun, for one thing, I don't think any AR-15s are necessary for hunting deer or anything like that. So if you need to purchase rifles, it should be an extended amount of time before you can purchase them and a severe background check along with a psych psychological evaluation. Wow, that was quite the news. Next up, we have some interesting segments. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Where are you going? Come on, let's go. Sorry, no outside visitors. Oh wait, NCB Chris? Come on, let's go, come in, come in. Oh no, 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 I have my own. This is a security desk. They secure the school, as you can see. Come on, let's go. Next, we have the gymnasium. This is where all the sports events happen. Seems like the girls' softball team's having a lunch practice. Let's go check it out, come on. here with Coach Marsala. Sala, how do you feel about running the gym? I love running the gym. It's my home. Her home. Come on, let's go. Now, we're gonna head to the outlandish cafeteria. It's a little crazy in there, so proceed with caution. Come on, follow me. about this auditorium. It's big. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Now, we're gonna be entering the video. Here's where all the students come to meditate, be peaceful, you know, find themselves. Come on, let's go. I think they're doing some partner poses. I'm not quite sure. Um, let's find out. Here's the yoga teacher. Miss Leposki. She's the coolest. How do you feel about Northside? I love Northside. These guys are the best. Oh, oh. <laughs> Last on the first floor, we have, of course, Mr. Davis. I think they're singing. Come on, let's go. Hey, Davis. Hey, guys. What can we be expecting from your course class? Well, we are, our concert is June 8th, and it is Northside Loves the 90s. Interesting. Should be. All right, now that we're done with the first floor, let's take it to the fourth floor. Come on, let's go. You finally made it to the fourth floor, our floor. Come on, let's go. Here, in the fourth floor hallway, Students working on projects, kind of wandering in the hallway. Don't tell any of the teachers that I said that. So yeah, these are our bulletin boards. The students work really hard on them, put a lot of effort into them. So do the teachers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. This is a student of the month. We have all the students of the month from every grade. Keep up the good work, kids. Come on, let's go. This is our wall of seniors and their college acceptance letters. Here we have our Her a little bit. Come on, let's go. How do you feel about 
about your side. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> this is Mr. Vance. How are you? Kind of kooky. How do you feel about Northside? Uh, Northside is in my blood. It's part of my heart. Uh, I love teaching here. I love uh, you know directing the shows and working with Mr. Davis and Miss Goldenbaum. And I feel like the faculty is my family, and uh, all the students are like children to me. You heard it here. We're a family. Come on, let's go. Here's the biggest and meanest and toughest hall monitor we have here at Northside. Mr. Blair. Here's his station. He just stays here all the time asking where's your pass. The teacher has to write you up. No, no. That way. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not, I'm not, no, please take your credit. You need a pass. I'm not playing. Go back and have a write your pass. Simple. This is Mr. Otis. He teaches Latin. Can you believe people still teach Latin? Cyberbullying is a very serious issue. It can take more than one form. Sending me messages, spreading rumors, or hacking into someone's account to create self-discriminating posts are all forms of cyberbullying. Over half of teens worldwide have experienced cyberbullying, and nearly the same amount of people have admitted to being the bully. 
Over one third of young people have experienced receiving cyber threats, and less than 20% of cyberbullying incidents have been reported to law enforcement. Don't be another statistic. My child, you, tomorrow, classroom, real student, long bearded man, detention. I advise you, do not, I repeat, do not go into this classroom. If you say so. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I'm about to show you, boy. Girl! War 2 B You're not even in this class. That's going to be a detention. Let's go. Yo, my fault, son. I told you. I'm look, sorry, look. Bro. See? Let's go. Yo, free my son. Free my son, man. Yeah. Damn. Wake up. What's up with you? Yeah, wake up, bro. Come on, let's do all work. Let's do all work. Ah, uh, can you read my future? Oh my gosh. You, bald man, $5 rental, walk away, Sandy. Take that sweater off. Be gone. Show me, show me, Genesis, Genesis, come here, come here, come here. Where's your phone? I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have your photo? You don't see it. No, 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 no. Come on. I'll call your mother. I'm going to no, send wrong. you home. You know I don't do that. I'm going to send you home. Call your mother. Or we can go see Miss Sandy. That might have to file out a photo. Let's do it. Oh Let's go. God. Let's do it. Let's do it, Genesis. Yeah, when I came on the car. That's much better, Genesis. Thank you. That's the Genesis I know. Thank you. It's Thank you. Daughter. That doesn't matter, but you have it on. Thank you, Genesis. Enjoy your day. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Show me, show me, show me. Come on. Take the hoodie off. Take the hoodie off. Take the hoodie off. You know the rules. You know the rules. I shouldn't have to tell you. You're a senior. I don't care. You know the rules. You know the rules. Take that off. Alright, alright, I got you. And now you can sign in. You got a pass? No. I'll go back to class. No pass, no bathroom. See you later. Wow. I can't believe this is our last year here as Noitai students here. Yeah, it was one hell of a year. I wonder what the future holds for NTV. Well, here's how to get an NTV next year. Number one, be a part of the art and theater community. Number two, audition or be invited. Number three, have a prepared monologue. Good luck.